video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bunch here and welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we're going to be looking at one of the best strikers in the world of football. You know what, stuff it. The best striker in the world of football, it is Luis Suarez. Yes, I know for a while there, it might have been Lewandowski. Maybe for a while there, of course, in the long run, it's been Zlatan. You know, there's, of course, Jamie Vardy. Balotelli, can't forget about him. Of course, we've got Bettner too. But no, surely right now, it's Suarez. There's no question. And I know what some of you are thinking. Wait a minute, Suarez, isn't he like 28 years of age? Yep. How the hell did you get him to 2025? Well, I did. So get ready for this. The Uruguayan third of MSN has been absolutely killing it, as every single member has this year. And of course course this season. We've already done Neymar, yet to do Messi. We're working on that if you guys want it. But for now, it's Suarez's time. So let's take a look at his stats then. At 90 rated. That, he is 90 rated as you can tell. That is also his potential. For the first time I think in this series' history, we've got a player that has a the exact same potential as their current overall. But you can see that when you're 90 rated. And to be fair, 28 years of age, you can get, that's justified. You're looking at all of his stats. Everything's like, almost everything, 85 plus. Everything related to being a striker. And even just a playmaker in general. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, the high attacking work rate, you know he does. Acrobatic, clinical finisher, he's got the flair trait too, and a bunch of other stats. Maybe not the pace he's plays, but that's fine because he's still got so much in his bag. It's incredible, Luis Suarez. So let's start this then. Let's see what the first three seasons with Luis Suarez are like in a FIFA 16 career mode. And then, and then fuck it, let's just go all the way to 2025. In his first season, we see minimal growth. In fact, no growth to his overall, but we see things like his sprint speed and agility that are slowly going up. He's got very good agility, by the way, just on the, on the low, on the level. But either way, you've got the ball control, long shots, curb, as well as shot power and volleys. All, all important stats to being a striker. They're all going up. He's already got a bunch of insane stats anyway, but still, there you go. No overall growth, but some slight growth there. So there we go. That's season one done with Luis Suarez. No overall growth, but how about this time around? In the second season, still no growth. In fact, no overall growth and no technical or mental or physical attribute growth. Nothing Nothing specific. It's all the same, or at least nothing's being indicated. I'm trying to look, trying to scour, trying to see if I can see anything. I think I might see one or two, but at the same time, I'm not too sure. I'm looking at ball control, although that, that probably could have been 92 in the previous season, but still, 30 years of age, still 90 rated. Is he going to start dropping off? And if he does, when? If he's going to grow, he's got to do it now in this season, because it's very unlikely we're going to see him 91 or higher in 2025. But how about in this third season? He has been able to do it in the third, just going to the 91. Still been in excellent form, still been been a very happy morale. He's a happy camper. And just one stat that is the ball control, by the way, so that's going up to 93. That has been increased. The only stat, the only attribute that's going up, and yet that in itself is enough to warrant a plus one overall increase. Hell, that's okay. We've seen Suarez now go over his potential and over his rating. Increase of plus one. So there we have it, guys. That's Luis Suarez in his first three seasons of FIFA 16 career mode. But now, because we have to answer the absolutely critical question, what is his rating going to be in the year of 2025? Let's go all the way and find out. Here we go. So here we are, 2025. Luis Suarez would have to be about 37 to 38 years of age. As he's still been able to maintain these levels, is he still growing? Surely not. He surely would have been dropping off heaps. Let's see what his overall is. What's his rating in 2025? me he's still been able to maintain a 90 rating has not dropped into the 80s which is amazing at 38 years of age only nine million dollars worth of value still in excellent form still very happy and look even his technical attributes are still growing ball control and tripping is going up curve volleys crossing bunch of stuff his physical and mental they're absolutely plummeting but that's okay i mean he's nearly bloody 40 years of age for christ's sake how's he still playing football at the elite level for barcelona at 38 he's managed to do it one of the most well maintained athletes I've ever seen he's been able to keep doing this. It's amazing. Still 90 rated at 38 years of age in 2025. Staggering that he's been able to keep that level consistently for 10 years. Imagine if he did that in real life. I mean, I don't think I could see anyone doing that maybe apart from the almighty Zlatan. He's definitely a living example of it, but still, there we go. Luis Suarez in 2025. Still 90 rated and chugging along. But anyway, until the next one, guys. My name's Mars Bucks. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave in the comments down below what play you'd like me to do next for this series. And until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.